In case you haven't noticed, everyone who's happy in winter lives in Florida. It's warm, the sun is always shining. What's not to love? My favorite place happens to be in Florida, Siesta Key. I visited Siesta Key three times, and each time I fall more in love. I could go on and on about it, but the two things that come to my mind are the beach and a very specific palm tree. I can escape reality and find myself in Siesta Key. One place that holds significant importance to me in Siesta Key is the palm tree on Beach Access 3. We said goodbye to my grandma and my dog here. My grandma was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in April 2019, and she fought her battle for a long time, but unfortunately lost it in March 2020. One of her last wishes was to have her ashes spread in Siesta Key. We had to wait a long time because of COVID, but once we finally made the trip in July, it was my brother, my mom, my dad, me, and my two cousins. She had some very specific requests, and based on these requests, we decided to spread her ashes under a baby palm tree on Beach Access. We picked a warm summer night to do this. The sun was setting, spreading bursts of pink, yellow, red, any color you can imagine across the sky. And the wind was picking up as the nightly storm was rolling in. Everything was perfect, although my dog wasn't there. Bear, my 15-year-old dog, he was everyone's favorite. My papa hated dogs, but he seemed to love Bear, and all my friends loved Bear too. He was actually the first person they came over and saw instead of me when they came to my house, but you know, that's just them. And then my grandma loved him so much that she wanted his ashes spread with hers when he died. Bear had been with me since before we were born, and unfortunately we had to put him to rest this October due to lack of mobility because he was getting really old. They both loved each other so much we decided they needed to be reunited. We booked a trip to Siesta Key this Christmas, and we decided to spread their ashes in the same spot, obviously. When we got there, to our surprise, the palm tree we spread my grandma's ashes under had grown three times in size. I can't wait to see how much it grows with Bear there. My grandma always loved the beach, and she happened to pass that down to me too. The beach in Siesta Key will always hold a super special place in my heart. We all love it, right? The sand, the sun, the water, the wind blowing in your hair. The beach in Siesta Key is one of the most freeing places I have ever been. The sand is so soft, it feels like velvet. And when I took my first step into the Gulf of Mexico, it was incredible. I've been to Florida before, but never in the summer where the water is super warm. It's around 85 degrees, so it's not like walking in ice like it is in Lake Michigan. It felt like I was putting my coat on fresh out of the dryer. And I love laying in the sun. You know, the wind blows over you as your skin's getting super hot, and this process repeats over and over, but there's no possible way of getting tired of it. I feel at home when I'm at the beach. The sun, the water, everything makes me feel so at peace. And it reminds me that my grandma and my dog get to feel this sense of peace 24 seven. I can escape reality and find myself in Siesta Key. The palm tree helps me remember my grandma and my dog, while the beach makes me feel like everything going around around me doesn't matter in the moment. Look outside. Do you feel happy when you see the snow? I personally do not feel very happy when I see the brown slushy snow on the side of the road. That's just me. Everything about Siesta Key makes me happy, and I can say that about no other place. No other place makes me as happy as Siesta Key.